Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Eldercraft. This is a different view. I thought you'd like it. To, I'm up here by, I think this is Paul's house, and he's got a crane that's up here that I thought I'd just stand on and give you a better look at the city. Yeah. There's a lot of new projects going on. Actually, I didn't even notice that there was a second beacon. Oh, huh, that's nice. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So I just wanted to show you guys a before and after picture. So you've seen it before. This is going to add the wall that I'm knocking down going 30 blocks back and this is the before over there and then you're gonna see the after this is going to be a massive knockdown it's gonna take me quite a bit oh and I I decided to uh, play a little joke on Lucifer here. He asked for some cobblestone, so I uh, I decided I'll give him the cobblestone. He wanted probably like five, six stacks, maybe maybe even a box full. He, if he was lucky, he was hoping for that much. So what I did was here. I'll show you. Yeah, so he left a little sign here in the hub saying, you know, if anybody wishes to donate, please leave the name and amount. And I'm like, oh, okay. You want cobblestone? Have some cobblestone! <laughs> it's not like I'm running low. You know, it's funny, Lucifer just got on, and he's like, he sees the three boxes, and he's like, thanks, that will last me a little while. So, he like, totally ruined the whole prank. Oh, oh well, whatever, I'll get him another time. I'll just have to think of something better. I know he's using it for his uh, tunnel out to the blaze farm. But I never knew he'd need that much. That's a whole hell of a lot of cobblestone. I think he used five boxes before. Five double boxes. And then I just gave him three double boxes. And he said he's still going to need more. So, pretty much everything I mine out of here is going towards that tunnel. Because he's going to have no other source. He, he doesn't even live in the overworld. He lives in the netherla uh, netherworld. So, yeah. <clears throat> A ruined prank. Oh man. If I thought his tunnel needed that much, I I wouldn't have even left the signs. So I'm about twelve hours in to mining this out. And I've started to uncover the mine. Got a ton left to do. It's just I've got to start to be careful because I don't want to wreck mine. First thing I'm going to build, probably after, is a spawn catcher because these spawns here are just spawning like crazy. 
and there there's like spiders, creepers, everything is spawning here, even uh, uh what's it called? Oh, where is that? So look at that. Everything is spawning here. Pretty insane. So I got quite a bit of work to do. So. And I just wish I had some damn TNT. But. I'm not going to sit there and kill creeper after creeper to get that done. Once I get my spawner up and running, then I can actually get some nice gunpowder and actually blow some holes bigger and open up this side of it. So we'll come back and hopefully I'll have this finished. Progression is coming along nicely. It's at about 75%. If I would have known it was uh, going to be this big, I probably wouldn't have pulled it back 30 blocks. But don't have too much left to do. Getting the mine uncovered quite a bit. So you got maybe 10 blocks down left to go. So, should only take about another 7 hours or so. Hopefully, not that much longer. And then you guys can see what this looks like totally uncovered. Then I'll have to figure out what to put in here. Because this is a lot of room. So to get me, or to help me get this done faster, I've called in Slag. He uh, mines just as fast as I do. So, thanks to Slag here, I should be done this faster because I've been mining this here for three days. Because this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. So he came on over and he's being a good pal. He's going to help me mine this down. I was thinking of calling over somebody else, but I, I don't want to bug too many people because there's a lot of people doing big projects. They just finished off a automatic tree farm in the dome. I'll show that to you, uh, probably not this episode, but uh, next episode. So when we're done, I'll get uh, back to you here. Hopefully this won't take us too much longer. So we finally opened it all up down here with the help of slag and we're gonna probably or I'm gonna probably put a spawn catcher over there I'm gonna try to put a zipper elevator back here see if that works because uh, in the with SMP and uh, vanilla that's a little hard with the lag But I want to uh, get a proper uh, creeper catcher, because there isn't one yet, not here in our server. Um, we have a skeleton catcher. We have, well, actually we have quite a few mob spawners, but uh, we don't have... This guy's going to get me if I don't get him. Come 
on. Maybe I scared him away. And I need to open this up a little bit. Oh, you want an arrow fight? Let's go. Come on. Haha, -ha, I win. Yeah, just need to open up the bottom a little bit here to finish the bottom track off here. And then open up the top a little bit there. Finish off that track. So, yeah, just a spawn catcher over there. Try a zipper elevator there. Uh, get something proper here until I can see if those work. So I'll probably build a minecart elevator here. And then beside it I'll put probably just a some kind of water elevator to come down to lessen the impact when you hit the ground. Not something like as big as this. Something enclosed. <clears throat> and that's about it for now. I'll make levels. Then we can, uh, but I really want to open this up, like this, this area. There's so much unexplored, like, see, you, you may go into one level and it's nothing, but then you, you go down, see, I showed you the first couple of levels. but then you come down into some of these other levels and then you see it over there it still goes down into another level see and I haven't even put torches down there yeah so this shaft is going to be some good fun to explore. So let's head on over and check out that uh, tree farm that uh, B7 built. Since my last video I laid down some half slabs here so no spawns can come in here. I need the uh, glowstone dust for something. So that's the only reason I'm breaking those. Uh, and me and B7 laid some half slabs on the top so no spawns can spawn on top. Okay, and that's about it for this tunnel. I still have to decorate it. Like on the top up here, what I'm going to do... Here, just a sec. Let me go a little faster here. There we go. I'm doing three blocks of stone and then this one I'm going to take out and put uh, sandstone so then that will give it a little more color and then I think I'm going to take out the stairs and probably put uh, nether brick or something something not too sure because I want to I don't want this all just to be cobblestone. So we've had some new residents move in to the town since the last time uh, I showed the video. I'm not too sure where they moved to though, because I've been paying attention. I think, no, that's not a new house. I think that's slags. Uh, nope, that's Chaos house. And that's Kao's sister's house. Uh, that one's a new house. And that one's something new. I haven't seen that. Okay. And 
that one's new. If it isn't, I haven't seen it before. Mail. They don't have a sign though, so I don't know whose it is. Oh wait, yeah they do. Oh, it's Kodas. Yeah, Koda. I still have to find five diamonds he buried in my house, in my spawn house. Which I will do, Koda. And here's Pyros. Let's get to that uh, tree farm. If I'm being a little quiet, that's because it's like 2 a.m. here. Sorry about that. It's just it took me a while to get that that thing finished. Okay. Easy for Eldercraft. And it is blocked off for some reason. Unless there's like a secret lever. Which I don't want to play with. There we Maybe up here. He spent quite a long time building this. If he blocked it off, he probably blocked it off for a good reason. Probably needed to do some repairs. But I know it was working earlier. Maybe, maybe it got uh, damaged. But there is a tree farm and a working tree farm in vanilla. And in here they pimped out the uh, the wither That's what it is. Better put it back. If I do use it, I just grab it from up there. Because there's so much that it's always upstairs. And this isn't even the main enchanting table. The main one is down in the end of farm. So that's about it for this video. Because I don't think I'm going to go over to... Uh... Actually, I want to find those diamonds. You guys can see me do that. Oh, Slag's playing with me here just a sec. Let's see what Slag wants. I'm fuzzled. Paul. Stand by him. Oh, I think he wants to take a start. What the hell are they doing? Like, <laughs> his face is funny. It's a trap. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry about that. Jeez. What guys, man?
Man, these guys are some jokers. This is how I lost my first set of uh, armor to these guys. Okay, off to go, off to go find those diamonds. The path out to my house uh, was attacked by the the fairies. I came out of my uh, spawn area the other day, and the the fairies were attacking my path. It's not much of a path, but it's something I built when I first started on here. I'll redo it one day. But I just noticed, you know, Rose is just going and I'm like, what the heck? And we have some three fairies on our server that uh, like to stay invisible all the time. And they like to attack the houses with... Oh, they did more! with uh, roses. Oh, here's one. There's one block. Let's see. Here, let's see if let's see if I offer a carrot. Maybe she'll come up. She's on the other side. I think. They're invisible, so you can never find them. They stay invisible. It, for you to find a fairy, it's impossible. They're so nice, though. Oh, I hear him building something. Oh, that's like. Not one of the fairies. What did he break? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a win, man. Somebody got him with the anvil. There's another anvil waiting for me to walk in the door. <laughs> Obviously that is not a fairy. <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny. Uh, I better... I don't have a box either. Shoot. There. Let's see. Better clean this out. Remove some of these roses that the fairies put in here. So I can... Uh, get his stuff in here. Before it disappears. Uh, let's see, melons, coal. That should be enough. There, because if you lost all that diamond armor, you would be pretty choked. Make sure none of it went into the water. I didn't even see that coming. I thought that was one of the fairies. Okay, yeah, as I was as I was saying, I said uh, you win um, for the diamonds because Coda put five diamonds in a chest, probably like this, somewhere underneath my floors. So I got to find it. I tore up the first level. What the heck? Yeah. I tore up every single block of the first level. Except for... This one. And that one. 
which I didn't think they would be under, so that's why I didn't put them in. So let's continue and see if we can find them. Like, I don't see how hard it can be to find this. And it's not like this really bothers me either, because I, I'm going to replace this whole floor anyway. It's just... The fact that I can't find it, that's, what's bo <laughs> that's what bothers me. See, and it can't be under this floor, because... Uh, this one leads to nowhere. for some help. Because he said he buried it one deep. I know this is cheating asking for help, but I don't want to x-ray. Because I think x-raying is cheating, so asking for help is easier. And I'll put cobblestone, because then I'll know exactly where I've been. I didn't have those ones down. So I can still get down here. I didn't have that one there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I checked underneath here and I checked that way. I'm not sure if these ones were down. And I don't want to go digging up my garden. And they shouldn't be underneath my trees. That one's mine. Oh man. He said the floor, so it shouldn't be in a wall. This guy's tricky. And it shouldn't be down here, because this is this leads down into a mine. Uh, nope. That wouldn't be very beneficial. Okay, I think he wins for now. I'll have to do it later. If I find it, I will update you. See? It's still ha still under construction because I'm kind of bouncing all over the place. I got this that I'm still looking on. I'm doing a couple of things to the, uh, the hourglass. And this I'm to put some half slabs on, make it all nice and pretty. I'm going to keep the glass though. I like the open feeling. Yeah, you got that anvil for me, right, huh, Paul? <laughs> You're not getting me with it. You got me with it once, but uh, protection four, protection four, and then uh, I got uh, projectile protect projection four. 
but uh nope nope what did he say yeah two tnt and two pistons Pistons. Close down. I don't know what he means. Um, So obviously he's gonna x-ray which is fine whatever I just don't like doing it that's my personal preference <laughs> see obviously he oh Obviously, he gave up, too. <clears throat> it's one of those things that just... It gets on your nerves. Oh, he'll probably need a lever, too. Yeah. that I put in here for those tracks that I was going to repair and my coal and my watermelon Pair the glass and fail. <laughs> Man, these guys. Where is he? Let's see. Um, there's Paul up there. Why would it be so many down? He said it was only one down. If it was like four or five down, there's no way I would ever find it. Not unless I ripped off so many layers. Coda. Coda, this is obviously not as easy as you thought if there's three of us and we still can't find it.
Come on. If you found it, you'll spit out diamonds. There's a hole in the wall. Oh, no! I don't have any more of those. This is the Great Exploration. didn't even find it. That's pretty weird. Oh well. If he couldn't find it x-raying, then... Then it's not going to be found. Because I ripped up this floor, or this whole level. And I ripped up half of this level. EX Raid. It's... I think this thing is lost. Or I'll have to pull Coda in here and I'll just have to... Concede. Or hide something in Coda's house and... And wait till he concedes and then we... We both just give each other the items. So... Okay. So... See you next episode where I have those elevators built and hopefully have the uh, the tracks uncovered. Thanks for watching and comment and hopefully uh, Slag and Paul will not have got me. I'm <laughs> trying to make sure I get out of the... got me with the elevator or uh, got me with the anvil by that time. Because these guys, man, they want to get everybody with an anvil. So, thanks for watching.